explain to me how you can tell where these styles are from and maybe a little history about them. Well, it, it, various regions of Hungary have different types of embroidery. Um, they use different materials and even the floral patterns are different. These over here are from the Mutko region, which is actually no longer part of Hungary. Uh, it's notable by their embroidered aprons, which are usually full length. They reach down practically to the tips of your boots. Um, the men typically wore uh, basically white pants that were heavily pleated with the apron. And sometimes the vest is embroidered, sometimes not. And there's usually embroidery on the sleeves and right down the front of the shirt. For the women's, they had big poofy sleeves and they're most notable by the pom-pom headdresses. And these are actually quite large. And it is proportional, so when you see these in Hungary, you see these giant pom-poms on the headdress. Um, the women also had a long apron as well, which is ornately embroidered. Some other dolls are, this is as close, this is a close to a kolochoi. This is uh, this type of embroidery. Um, this is one of the most common ones. These two are probably the most common embroidery that most people are aware of from Hungary. Um, but again, kolochoi, oops, of course the slipper falls off. Um, the kolochoi embroidery is also quite common. It's very ornate. They have a lot of this lattice work. Uh, so they tend to get quite pricey. You can find them here and there, but you will pay a pretty penny for them. But well worth it. They show very well. You said this is no longer part of Hungary. Where is it now? Um, good Lord, I think it was, I want to say northern Hungary, if I recall correctly, but it's been a long time since. <laughs> geography and the geography has changed quite a bit. Okay, Anna, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Is this one here uh, different? That